We can just take the description and zero it and pass it out to all the cops. They are male minorities, 15 to 25. Bloomberg then bluntly described his policy. For all the cops in minority neighborhoods, yes, that's true, I would do it. Because that's where all the crime is. And the, the way she had the guns on her kids' hands is uh, to throw them against the wall and frisk them. Today, one of Bloomberg's Democratic opponents took aim. Some people are saying it flatly it's racist. Have you, what do you, what's your take? Well, yeah, certainly uh, any law enforcement strategy that seems to regard people as profile rather than as human beings, especially uh, seeing how this has disproportionately impacted uh, black and brown Americans, is uh, something that, that just has no place uh, in an equitable future. Even President Trump tweeted out the audio with the caption, Wow, Bloomberg is a total racist before deleting the tweet, although Trump himself has repeatedly promoted stop and frisk. It worked very well in New York. It brought the crime rate way down. Bloomberg himself apologized for his policy months ago, just after launching his presidential campaign. I now see that we could and should have acted sooner and acted faster to cut the stops. I wish we had. I'm sorry that we didn't. So let's get to John Carl, also with us live tonight, right here in New Hampshire. And we saw you were with uh, Pete Buttigieg earlier today. Now you're at headquarters right there in Nashua. You caught up with the mayor. He's already seizing on that audio. What's the reaction tonight from Team Bloomberg? Well, the Bloomberg campaign has put out a statement from the mayor noting uh, that he had previously apologized for how he handled stop and frisk as mayor. But, David, he showed, offered no apology for his words. And, in fact, he spent most of the statement he released on this today attacking Donald Trump, saying to the president, quote, I will do everything I can to defeat you. David? John Carr with us tonight as well. Our thanks to you, John, and our entire political team right here in New Hampshire. It is going to be a very important night for the Democrats as this race moves forward, and we will bring you the results as they come in. Live coverage right here on ABC and on ABC News Live. In the meantime, to the breaking news tonight involving...